Did you know if you grab a tea bag, cut it open and empty out the leaves? And then grab one tablespoon of oats and add it in. Fill it up with boiling water. Leave it like that for at least an hour, but the longer the better. Everybody knows you need protein to grow muscle. But when it comes to plants, plants need nitrogen to grow. Nitrogen is like protein for plants. The next thing you want to do is strain the liquid out. What you have right now is a magical solution packed with nitrogen. So if you want to boost the growth of your plants, water your plants with this once every three weeks and watch the magic happen. So don't buy those chemical fertilizers when you can make your own right at home. If you accidentally snap one of the stems of your plants, here's how you fix it. Get the area well with some water. Grab a Q-tip and dip it in some cinnamon. And apply the cinnamon where the stem broke. Then grab a piece of string and wrap the Q-tip around the stem until it's straight. The Q-tip will help support the stem and the cinnamon will help prevent bacteria from setting in and help it seal. When you're done eating bananas, don't throw out the banana peel. Instead, what you want to do is chop them up. Put it in a container or a bowl, fill it with water. Right now what's happening is potassium, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium is being released into the water. Leave it soaking for about an hour, but the longer the better. After an hour, strain the water out into another container and then use this magic banana water to water your plants. They'll love you for the added nutrients. So don't buy those chemical fertilizers at the store. Just make your own with banana peels. That's magic. If the soil of your plants are infested with gnats, here's what you do. Fungus gnats are these annoying little flies that live in the soil. They leave eggs, so they multiply and multiply until they take over the whole plant. The fastest way to get rid of them is mixing one fourth cup of 3% peroxide with one cup of water. And that's it. Apply it directly on the soil of your plants. that will kill them on contact and you'll never have to deal with them again. When you're done with a plastic bottle, don't throw it out. Instead, what you want to do is poke a hole in the cap and put a Q-tip through it. Then grab a chopstick or any kind of stick and tape it to the bottle. This is what you want it to look like. Then fill the bottle with some water, close it, grab a plant, turn the bottle upside down and stick it into the soil. What you have right now is a homemade drip system that's going to keep watering your plants slowly while you're away for a few days. This is how I kept my pineapple alive while I was away for a week. You won't believe what you can do with these things that you normally throw out. The first thing you want to do is grab a gallon jug or a container, three eggshells, crush them up and add them in, two banana peels, the peels from one potato, two or three used black tea bags, add them right in, three tablespoons of 3% peroxide, one teaspoon of baking soda, fill it up with warm water, shake it up and let it soak for about 24 hours. After 24 hours, strain the liquid out into another container, and what you have now is a homemade fertilizer that contains all the nutrients that plants need to flourish. Water your plants with this nutrient-rich water and watch the magic happen. So don't buy those chemical fertilizers at the store, just make your own with things at home. When you're done eating eggs, don't throw out the eggshells. Instead, what you want to do is turn them into a fine powder using a blender or a grinder. This is what you want it to look like. The next thing you want to do is add some white vinegar and let the chemical reaction begin. Eggshells are made out of 95% calcium. So what's happening right now is that the eggshells are absorbing the acid and the vinegar, which makes them break down. Pretty much what you're doing is you're extracting the calcium out of the eggshells until it becomes this foamy stuff, which you can then scoop out, put it in a glass of water, mix it up, and what you have right now is a super concentrated mixture with calcium. Which you can then drink. I'm oh, just kidding. Which you can then use to fertilize your plants. So apply this mixture directly on the soil of your plants and let the roots absorb the calcium. My avocado plant absolutely love this. I'm pretty sure your plants will too. 